Hey there! Laravel provides two common methods for retrieving configuration data, env and config. While they may seem similar at first, there are important differences between them. In this video, we'll explore the differences between env and config and help you understand when to use each one. Let's get started. The env function is used to retrieve values from your application's environment file, the .env. This function is primarily used for accessing sensitive information such as API keys, database credentials, and other environment-specific configurations. Going back to the function, if the key does not exist, meaning in my case app debug, it will return a default value, which in my case is false, and if this value is not provided, then it will return null. The config function is used to access values stored in configuration files, such as this app.php file. Laravel provides a convenient and organized way to manage application configurations through these files. Configuration files are stored typically in the config folder. To retrieve a configuration value using config, you provide the file name, and the key corresponding to the value you want to access. For example, config app.name would retrieve the value of the name key from the app.php config file. Let's run this uh, code using Tinker. And in my case, the app name is Varen. Now let's dive into the key differences between env and config. ENV is primarily used for accessing environment-specific and sensitive information, while config is used to access general application configurations. ENV retrieves value from the .env file, while config retrieves values from configuration files located in a config folder. Laravel caches configuration files to improve performance, this applies to both env and config files. As a rule of thumb, only use env within the config files. To sum it up, use env for retrieving sensitive information such as API keys, database credentials, or environment-specific variables. Use config for accessing general application settings such as the app name, time zone, or core business configuration values. I hope now by understanding the differences between these two methods, we can use them effectively in your projects. Remember to carefully manage sensitive information and follow security best practices when working with environment variables and configuration values in your projects. Alright, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, stick around this channel because I'll be creating more similar videos. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.